and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about a bike that's currently on Indiegogo and you can get in on the early bird sale right now and it's the Bandit X-Trail Pro. And before I get too much into the specs on this bike, I got to tell you that the title for this video is not me saying the bike is being the fastest, it's the company itself. So it's not me telling you that the bike is the fastest. Actually, I'm riding my Lyric Graffiti right now. I'm not riding that bike. Obviously, it's not out right now. It's uh, on Indiegogo. And I think they're expecting shipment in, hoping for September, I believe is what I read. I could be wrong, I believe that's it. But anyway, I'm going to run down some of the specs on this bike that claims to be the fastest street legal e-bike in the world. And after I give you the specs, I'm going to mention a couple other things about this bike, or one other thing in particular. So basically the bike is a dual motor so it's kind of similar to the aerial rider grizzly with the dual motors dual battery the difference between this bike and the grizzly would be that this bike the banded x trail pro is 48 volt as opposed to 52 the front motor is only 750 watts as opposed to a thousand on the Grizzly. Both motors on the rear on both bikes are a thousand watt. The batteries are similar where they have a 20 amp hour and a 15 but once again like I say the voltage is 52 versus 52 on the Grizzly versus 48 on the Bandit X Trail Pro. And I gotta mention too that this Bandit Bikes is not to be confused with Spark Cycles. This is a different company. So when you hear the name Bandit, you're probably thinking of Spark Bandit. But it's not, this is a completely different company than that. So it, as I mentioned, it has the two dual motor, it has the dual battery, it claims a top speed of 42 miles per hour. It has headlight, tail light, brake light, and turn signals. It does have a full suspension. Hydraulic brakes. The seat height on the bike is uh, 32 inches, so pretty similar to the uh, Grizzly, just about the same. The controller is a 48 volt, 40 amp hour controller. I believe on the Grizzly it's a 30 or 33, somewhere in there. So this is a little bit more, but it's only a 48 volt. It does come with a 48 volt, 3 amp charger for the battery. It has seven levels of pedal assist. It is a cadence assist uh, level, or a cadence assisting for pedal. And the weight, the other thing I wanted to mention was the weight. This bike is a whopping 122 pounds. So it's, a, it's beefy, uh, weight-wise anyway. So uh, that might deter a few people right there. It wouldn't bother me so much if the bike was good, but it is a little on the heavy side, uh, I will say that. So, the price, so it's going for early bird sale right now for uh, $2,000 or $19.99, I will just round it off and say $2,000, and they're saying that's $700 lower than you would pay otherwise. So, just by going by the specs, oh, and the, I should mention the tires. The tires are 
20 by 4. I do not remember if they were Kenda. I do not remember what uh, tire uh, they were using on there, but they are 20 inch by 4 inch fat tires. It is a moped style bike, if I didn't mention that already. And it comes in several different colors as well. So uh, I will leave a link in the description uh, for you to go and have a look. And the price, so the price, like I say, $2,000, I think that's a very good price for something like this. Um, with the uh, features that it has on it, I think that's a kind of a steal, if you ask me, but they do have other bikes on their website. I'll, uh, actually, I'll leave two links. I'll leave one link for the bike to go directly to Indiegogo to look at it. And then I'll leave a link also for the Bandit Bikes uh, website for their uh, website to see uh, what else they have as far as bikes. Now what I wanted to mention, the uh, one thing I wanted to mention that I said earlier, I would say uh, one more thing about this, and that's the uh, uh, speed. Not to knock the company or anything, but I'm not sure what they mean by the fastest street legal e-bike. Because if we're talking real legal, I thought you could only go whatever speed your state sets legally. So if you're, for example, here in Oregon, I mean, the speed is set, it's 20 miles per hour. Class two, that's the legal maximum speed. And in California, for example, it would be class three or 28 miles per hour. So I'm not sure what they mean by legal because this bike here has an on-road and off-road switch where I can ride faster than the speed limit. I mean, this bike approaches 40 miles an hour too or gets very close. So. I'm not sure what they mean by that. I mean, then you get to the point of, well, do you consider something like the Onyx RCR? Is that an e-bike or is that a motor motorbike? I mean, it's a motorbike really, but so is this. It's a bike with a motor on it. But uh, anyway, so that's a very debatable uh, topic right there and I'm not going to dissect it but if you want to dissect it put a comment in the comment section go right ahead so that's going to do it for this video talking about what they claim to be the fastest street legal e-bike so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much as we build the channel and it's growing Thanks to you guys out there for supporting us So just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel Just hit the notification bell and you'll be notified Once again, you can leave a comment on this or any other video in the comment section below Thank you for joining me on this video, and until next time, take care.